the hell is this vantage over. point? Maybe it's along like these cliffs? That looks promising over there. Aha! I can't spare the weight. Apocus shit storm tour, day eight. Holy crap. Whoa. That glitched out lifter that crushed your arm and clavicle. Back before you met Wyatt. That was in a mine back beyond these falls. Oh, what a punk I was. Are the Ogroids from AOS connected to the Ogres at all? No, they are very different races. Uh, if memory serves. Um, the Ogroids are actually, like, super mysterious for the most part. We don't know a ton about them. But what we do know... I want to say they were one of the natural races of the, uh, the Eight Points. So this is a bandit camp we'd have to clear out. And the road to it is up here. Okay. I'm down to kill some bandits. Turns out hiding was not was not really necessary. Destro needs a new race from scratch. I mean, the Sons of Bayhem were pretty cool. The only thing I don't like about Destro is the lack of special characters. Um, they, they are very, very small on special characters right now, which I really don't like. Because for me, special characters are really important for me personally. Like, if a race does not have special characters, I just... Eh. I just don't like it. Signal will bring in reinforcements if they set it off. Imprisoned these people. A heavy bandit. Whoa, look at that gun he's holding. I don't think that large napping. Everybody pass over me, so I can disable your stupid alarm. Quit skulking, you stinking sawed off. I feel a Goodbye, fight coming on. Approach. Nope. 
<laughs> no, you don't. Here comes trouble. Like the signal. They're up above us somewhere. Forget I exist. Fishmen for AOS would be awesome. I would love fish the here. fish people. Again. Master of Warhammer, um, if you go to my YouTube channel, I have a video called uh, the called the series called the Monstrous Arcanum, and the very very last video I did for that um, is about a very Lovecraft Lovecraftian race that you should definitely check out if you're wanting to know about something like that. Alarms down. Keep this quiet. Oh, prisoners. Let me get this open. It's okay. In a moment, you'll be free. Favorite race ooh, in the fourth edition RP? You can't even put the feather on the right end of the mirror. Uh, I mean, my favorite race is probably. I mean, if I if I'm gonna be playing a character, I'll probably be playing a dwarf. Hey, look up! Still got him. Signals out. We're on our own. Oh, shit. More where that came from. How do, how do I? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go Let's see how much of a mess. Uh huh. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. I don't. Nothing like a. Uh, uh, nothing like a. Oh God, what do you call them? Hellfire rocket battery or whatever. <laughs> to make the day go by. Goddess, show us mercy. Do not let your faithful Hellstorm rocket battery, there we go. Just hold it, just <laughs> just you only fire a rocket at a time, which is a little a little sad looking. Alright, bandits are dead though. That's the important thing. What's this? drives the machines to attack. Robar is coming. There's a Robar location coming to your neighborhood. This is a special offer exclusively for print value <laughs> dollar receipt. Did you know that Robar, America's premier automated brew pub, is opening a location near you? Our Boston, Chicago, and St. Louis, Louis locate St. Louis, St. Louis locations are famous nationwide for their delicious craft beer selections, artisanal takes on classic bar food, and gracious robotic bar staff. Why spend good drinking money on tips? Make tonight a Robar night at our new location and enjoy 15% off your tab. Ooh. You hear that, chat? We can have robot bars. We may be outcasts, but now we can find fellowship thanks to you. Yes, I am your god. Worship me. Goddess knows I deserve a little time to myself. Alright, to the gate! Fastest way is this way? 
Is the lore accurate that the Empire can easily out artillery the Dwawi with the Hellstorm rocket batteries? No, <laughs> no. Dude, if, if the dwarves in the Empire had a true artillery battle, the dwarves would absolutely obliterate um, the. Uh, obliterate the Empire just because they're much more reliable and generally much more accurate. Hellstorm rocket batteries are cool and all, but they're, like, hilariously inaccurate, and dwarf artillery would just obliterate them before they be could be of any real use. Not you. you. Like, it would just be- it would be a massacre. I certainly think the doors would take casualties, but I, I do not think the Empire could genuinely compete with them in an artillery, artillery face-off. Umgak is just too unreliable. Sounds of fighting. Oh! Has something attacked the Karcha fort. This doesn't look good. Oh! Fuck. That thing. And he saw me. I know, thank you. a lot easier than the first time. Sun's risking its ass down here. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm corrupted. Uh, Dude, corruptors. Girl, approach. The first time I fought a corruptor, it was not a good time. That was much easier than the last time we fought those things. Hold on, I need medicine. Okay, I'm coming. Closer. Shut up, I'm coming. Snow chill, it just <laughs> Cool Castle. So will you open the gate for me now? <laughs> you heard her! Open the gates! And send word to Captain Balon. Where are you headed, girl? West to Meridian! Open the gate! The way of broken stones is a hard run, even in the best of times. You might want to have a word with Captain Balan. He came from Meridian not long ago. You find him in the fort, on a balcony to the left overlooking the valley. The guy's okay. eyes are like reptilian Thanks. looking. We're the ones who should be thanking you for taking down those machines. Walk in light, Nora. All right, we completed Seeker at the Gates. I was in charge here, and I didn't know who Koa came through. Oh god, I've got like so many quests that I need to do. Oh. Look like Romans. That's all there is in the new plans. I don't think I can help you. Hello? I heard you talking about trouble in Banuke lands. Was that out loud? Ears must be getting worn down from all those long leg blasts. But you heard right. I'm fresh back from the cut, looking for better scavenging and better shards. I guess you didn't find them up there? 
Not with a Banuke wailing about new machines and talking spirits and their purses frozen shut. What's a trade route without trade? It's just a route. <laughs> really? <laughs> wow, what an, what an intellectual statement. There's a trade route. I thought the Banuke. How is he not cold? I think he oh, is cold. Osiram and the Banuke just didn't give a shit. After all, what's a few mountain ranges between friends? I have some acquaintances out there still trying to dig a living out of the ice, but they say nothing seems to stick. All the superstitious nonsense and rampaging machines aren't helping. What were these new machines and spirits? Man, is built Honestly, different. I don't even well, I mean, know. if you get used to it, by the get used of to it. Funerals, I'd say the kind you turn away from. Not really my style. Well, if you reach my grand old age, you might prefer picking up after hunters in the Sundom. It's warmer, too. Sun God's blessing. What yeah. is this place? The cut. When the Karja took up swords and hacked away at the edge of Banuke land, they left the cut behind. So a battleground from the war. Like the valley outside the sacred land. Mm-hmm. Mountain pass in the far north and east will get you there. Isn't he near a it's heated thing? Maybe that thing like yeah, that thing behind him? Like you. Just don't expect much of a welcome. Especially not now. New machines and talking spirits? I'm interested. Thought as much, just looking at you. Don't say you weren't warned. <laughs> yeah. There's a slip of a trail through the northeastern mountains, past what we call the Grave Horde. You won't miss it. You'll find what passes for a town on the other side. Maybe someone there can talk you out of it. Maybe. Maybe not. Thanks for the information. Karja have been working here since the Spire cast a shadow on the moon. No, he's not really like... Like, maybe all these light things, maybe maybe these lights are giving off heat, maybe they're like heaters, in which case there might be a little bit. You must be the captain. Captain Balan, I have questions for you. First, about another Nora woman who might have come through here. And second, about the trail to Meridian. What can I expect on the way? Well, there was definitely another Nora. No way I'd forget that. She caused an incident. <laughs> That's what uh... to expect on the trail. Nothing good. More machines all the time. And our scouts report corruption that way as well. So much for sealing things off. Keep to the roads. They're safe enough. Though after what you did at the gate, I'll wager you don't scare easy. It's a good quality. Hey, Mad Maxine, thanks so much for being here. Don't mind a quick Have a great day. East. I know it's bold of me to ask a favor after you just did one, but I can offer you answers in return. If there's anything you need to know about the Sundom. Uh, let's do favor. What do you need, Captain? I sent several patrols east when we got word of corrupted machines there. All of them confirmed my fears, so I sealed the gates. But it looks like we left some men behind when they were closed. Waleed, tell them what happened. Machines attacked us near an abandoned Nora village. I like their helmets. Those We're are badass helmets. Back. Then I lost sight of the others. Never seen a Nora woman before, soldier? Have some respect. Report to her, not to me. Lakir always stresses reporting back, so that's what I did. I felt terrible about leaving them behind. Now that the gates are open again, I can send someone after them. Like that, that, yeah, admit, that is a bitchin' helmet. You said something happened with Nakoa. The Nora girl? Yes, yeah, something happened. Attempted murder. Oh, Prefect Zaid can tell you more about it. You can find him near the main tower, up the steps. Wait. Zaid is here? He is. Look, I've heard what your people say about him, but he swears it's a case of mistaken identity. Now, if there's a shadow to him, I've never been able to prove it. And the forbearance he showed towards this Nakoa woman was impressive. Oh, speak to him. Maybe he knows where Zaid she went. is here. And try not to assault him, please. Interesting. Can't you send more soldiers to find the missing men? What about Walid here? Most Nora still don't take well to the sight of Karja armor. Officially, it's a risk to send patrols so close to your sacred land. I'd prefer not to do that again. But heading that way won't be a problem for you. Please say yes. What was that, soldier? Nothing, sir. <laughs> please! <laughs> Is there anything more you can tell me about the road to Meridian? Sun King Avad has devoted considerable resources to making it safe. But by the sun's witness, it's been harder to control in peace than it was during the war. 
Machines grow more dangerous all the time. Add to that bandits and new reports of this corruption. We're stretched thin to protect a few outposts like this one. As for everywhere else, well, travel at your own risk. Did an Osram named Olin come through here? Twice. He was part of the royal delegation to the Nora. When they passed through on the way, then back. And they brought back stories of a vicious attack on your people. My condolences, of course. Do you know where Olin is now? Not exactly. But he was on his way to Meridian, I'm certain of that. Everyone goes to Meridian. What is this place exactly? Day Tower marks the eastern edge of Karja territory. Ugh. Trading post, a way station. One with an ugly reputation among your people. During the reign of the last Sun King, many Nora were taken captive, then gathered here for transport to Meridian and sacrifice. But the sun set on that. I was appointed by the Sun King of Vod to make sure old Karja at this outpost show respect to the Nora. I am still super curious about the Sun King. Because he sent that delegation to us, which the delegation itself obviously was a trap. Um, because the delegation attacked us. Um, but I'm wondering if the Sun King is playing both sides? Or if there is some, or if there's like another force that he doesn't either doesn't know about, like maybe the prior Sun King has some loyal forces Where still around. Stand but let's see. The tribe and the Nora now. Sun King of Vod wants peace, so do the matriarchs. I'm told, but old wounds are slow to mend, and both tribes are proud. My task is to make sure there are no further provocations from the Sundom, especially now after. All your people recover from this terrible attack, I mean. What's Meridian like? It's a changed place. A living city. Nothing like it was during the rule of Sun King Juran. Havad, our new king, has done all he can to make sure of that. Slavery has been abolished. There's a new alliance with the Azuram. And the Sunring, where so many outlanders were killed, is now a memorial to the Fallen. I do like that. It sounds as though you approve of the new Sun King. He is the Chosen of the Sun, and what the Sundom needs after ten years of war. A calming light, not a scouring one. Sun King Juran would shed blood at any slight. For Sun King Avad, that's a last resort. Lucky for those who slight him. Some whisper in the shadows that he's weak. No. Peace is strength, as the sun shall show. So the Karja are allied with the Osram? I do want to learn more Hard about the Osram. But it's true. Mad Sun King Juran raided the Osram for years. Abad managed to get them on his side. The dwarfs of this yeah, universe. Of course. Ursa and Eren played a part. Azaram's siblings, bigger than life. They gathered an army to free Meridian. I marched with them. Scaled the North Cliff with my men and secured the Temple of the Sun. Sent Juran's kestrels and priests packing. Now Azaram are a common sight in the city. And a common sound, too. I sure bicker a lot. <laughs> I'll see what I can do about your missing men. I will be grateful. But not as grateful as Walid. You hear that, Lunkhead? You might be off the hook. Interesting. Very interesting. Anything? A shadow hunter bow and a sharpshoot bow. Oh, that shoots a new type of arrow that I haven't seen before. Oh no, these are actually like legit upgrades. <laughs> these, these, yeah, these are like actually new weapons. I haven't seen these before. Oh no! <laughs> um. Oh god. Um. I can only afford one. Oh no! Uh, I, I think I want to go with the sharp, sharp shot bow to start. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I could sell my old one. Oh, man. Oh, it's got a new type of arrow? What, what are these? Harvest arrows? What the fuck are harvest arrows?
Uh, and I've used all my good shit. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Uh, damage, tear, fire, tear, handling, tear, shock. Okay, so let's do this one. And then this one. Right now. Uh, I think I can maybe... Items, treasure boxes. Mods are removable with the skill, that is true. Harvest Arrows. Deals low damage but removes machine parts with high precision. Removed parts that will provide resources will contain... Oh, that's cool. So, like, that's super cool. So, it, like, gives you bonuses for, like, loot. That's cool. I like that a lot. Um, what else do you sell? But you've got unique outfits just to make me hate my. Oh! Osirum Arrow Breaker Heavy. 30 range resistance. Protector Heavy. 30 melee resistance. Oh my god. I don't have nearly as much money as I want. Snow. It's not getting any warm, right? For how much I like hoard and stuff, like, good lord, I do not have money. Oh, that bow is bitchin'. This bow is so bitchin', though. Fucking Zaid. You're Zaid. And you're Anora. I can tell from your tone you've heard of me. Let me ease your mind. There seem to be wild stories about me among your tribe. But the Nora have me mistaken for someone else. I'm not sure where the fault lies, but the fog of war often breeds confusion. Unfortunately, some refused to acknowledge the error. So it was with the last Nora who came through here. He has a crappy mustache like I do. <laughs> the last Nora who came through here. You mean Nikoa? Is that her Welcome name? back, Jake Wu. Oh, well. It was a very unfortunate situation. She attacked me in broad daylight. If one of my men hadn't spotted her, I might well have been injured. But we were able to subdue her without harm. What did you do with her? I let her go, of course. It was clear she thought I was responsible for unspeakable things. So, in a sense, her actions were justifiable. I explained that she was wrong, then sent her on her way. Sadly, I don't think she believed me. Interesting. So you deny participating in the Red Raids? No, I didn't say that. I did have a role in those operations, albeit a very limited one. But all this nonsense about torture... Lemonade the guy, how you doing, man? It wasn't me. They had me confused with some other commander. I don't doubt some of my comrades did bad things. But Sun King of Odd has worked hard to eliminate such brutality. Where is Nikoa now? I don't know exactly. She left raving that she would find a way to bring me down. But I did hear a report from the garrison at Lonesome Rock that a young woman had been abducted by bandits. Might have been her. You've really gone out of your way to help, Prefect Said. It's no trouble. The Sun King wishes to make amends with your people, and I am his humble servant. I'll go to Lonesome Rock and get to the bottom of this. I promise you that. You do that. And if our men are anything less than helpful, please let me know. Interesting. I believe him. I, I don't think he's who we're looking for, but... Nani? Just a few more minutes. And I'll head back. The Derangement. Oh, this is our first book. The Derangement of the Machines. Esteemed Lords and Ladies of the Sun Court, Honored Cons... Canes? Like Thanes? Honored Canes and Patrons. Or maybe it's Cons. I don't know. Your concerns regarding...